Hi, this is a tutor named P, and this is prepositional phrase number 27. The prepositional phrase today is beyond the pal. Okay, let's take a look at the note here. If someone says that something is beyond the pal, uh, it means it is completely unacceptable or inappropriate, especially in regard to behavior or something that is beyond the bounds. The bounds means the limits uh, of morality. Uh, let's continue. The word pal by itself, derived from, derived from means came from, uh, the Latin word pallium, and meant a stake, like a stake in a fence, you know, a piece of wood with a pointy end. Uh, of course, stakes are used for making fences. Uh, the British were, the British used this word uh, for any areas or territories that they were under their control. The English king at that time, um, at that time ruled that Dublin and nearby areas were under his pal. So that's the way they used to refer to it. So the, the areas that the king controlled or the controlled by them were his pal. Anyone who lived or stayed beyond this area was considered to be uncivilized, barbaric, like a barbarian, uh, dangerous, or simply savages. Therefore, they felt these people had unacceptable or inappropriate behavior, and the term beyond the pal was born. This is where it came from. Okay, anyway, and we just have two examples to cover this. Uh, example number one. Uh, giving his teacher the middle finger was beyond the pal. They had to suspend him. So, you know, he just went too far. Okay, or the second one here. Streaking through a church during a ceremony was beyond the pal. So this was beyond what you could say is acceptable, it's wrong, it's immoral behavior, something like that. Okay, anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it's clear. I hope it's informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.